Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we're going to talk a little bit about survival. As you can see, we're under a tornado warning right now. So let's go see if we can find out where this tornado is. As you can see, the blue dot is me. One come in, and one's coming from the other direction. Welcome to Florida. You get hit from all angles. It's just about here. Should be a good one. Okay, as I was saying before, we are under a tornado warning. It's to the north of me. There's a really bad line of storms that are coming in. They're coming in from the west. The worst of it is to the north. And unfortunately, it's kind of hopefully maybe you all can see what's going on out here but let's take a minute here and talk about survival there's more than one thing about survival survival a lot of people think is about somebody running out into the woods and uh, living out there and try to be self sustainable while you're out there but when all in reality is survival stay with me here survival is an everyday occurrence that we all have to tackle and overcome we have things that are thrown at us on a daily basis that we have to do and overcome we have to go to work that could be a survival situation you know, a lot of people have dangerous jobs. I could be driving down the road nowadays. You know, your survival and mental skills nowadays are really pushed to the test compared to what it was years and years ago. <clears throat> you know, and as I speak right now, they are loading the astronauts into the SpaceX rocket and they're scheduled for a liftoff at 4.33 today. Today is Wednesday. Um, I don't think they're gonna make it. Maybe they will. I've got my eyes, I don't know if you guys can see. Like straight ahead I see this cone. I don't know. We'll have to keep our eye on that, see if that drops. I was born and raised in Indiana, so been through quite a few tornadoes myself. I'd rather go through a hurricane than a tornado. You get a hell of a lot more warning. But it's a survival situation. You have to watch the skies and know what you're looking for and listen to the weather reports. <clears throat> but I mean, let me continue on about, you know, the astronauts and stuff are getting on their, uh, they're loading them into the space capsule as we speak, getting them all in there snug and everything. But let me give you a little bit of history about survival with astronauts that a lot of people probably didn't know. In 1963, near the Panama Canal, uh, the astronauts were in a survival training, a tropical surviving training course at the Air Force Base near Panama Canal. And that was Neil Armstrong, John Glenn, Gordon Cooper, and Pete Conrad. At that point in time, the survival training back then, it was very important because if they had a launch aboard or misguided reentry, you know, they didn't know where they were going to land. They could be landing in water or they could be landing in a wilderness area. So they were taught survival tactics back in 1963. Just a cool, cool little fact for you. Skies are definitely getting a lot darker. You know, and as I said, there's more to survival than just 
living out in the middle of nowhere building a shelter and everything else look at that cloud I hope you all can see this really well so I'm getting a glare on the back of the camera so I can't tell if you are or not But we are under a tornado warning. But with survival comes, you know, your mind preparedness. And I think that's a, a big thing for nowadays. Especially since what we're going through and what we've been through and with all the people that have lost their lives through this pandemic. You know, the mind as it processes are, are critical to survival, you know. Uh, <clears throat> the will to live in a life and death situation often, often separates those that live and those that don't. Stories of heretic feats of survival, you know, back in years and years and years ago. You know, people with little or no training but a strong will to live is very common. storm is just incredible. You know, I mean, when you really think about what the humankind has been through over the years, you know, to the extent that the stress results from, you know, testing human limits to the benefits of learning to function under stress and determining those limits may outweigh the downside of stress you know there are certain um, strategies that they you, you know your body goes through you know and mental tools that you know can help people cope better in a survival situation including you know like if you're focusing on something uh, manageable tasks having a plan b available and recognizing denial you know um, you know, not everything goes your way. So here comes the storm. Now we have a secondary front that is uh, coming from the southwest. It's supposed to hit us with 50 to 60 mile an hour winds. It's going to be coming from that direction. Thunder's rolling, that's for sure. tornadoes and stuff, but usually you don't hear really too much thunder. It's definitely uh, picking up a little bit. We'll have to wait, see what happens. Well, as you can see, here comes the storm. Oh, we got lightning.
coming down pretty good right now. I think the worst of it's going to our north. Up that way. Sometimes you have to be prepared and like I've said in some of my other videos, especially in my hurricane season, it's always best to have a plan A, plan B, and I'd even throw in a plan C just on the chance that something goes wrong. Alright folks, I think that's going to be the end of this short little video here. So just remember, there's more to survival than just living in the woods it's your everyday life and what you go through this is survival preparedness for beginners talk to you all soon